Coil whine or coil noise is a phenomenon observed by the owners of well, electronics in general, but in particular graphics cards that can be freaking annoying. I mean, I'm talking more annoying than this voice I'm doing right now. Sorry. Electromagnetic coils can act as transformers or inductors. And in the case of video cards, the coils in question are acting as inductors, meaning that they are trying to resist changes in the electric current passing through them, making power delivery more stable. These coils have a, a resonance at which they can actually physically vibrate or a resonance frequency. And since electronic components are going to be receiving variable current, a varying magnetic field exists around the coil. And when these magnetic forces affecting the coil become strong enough, which in the case of video cards usually occurs when it's working harder, it will cause that coil to vibrate. And in some cases, that vibration can emit a high pitched noise like Ugh. It can be especially noticeable in certain applications like games, where a video card will be under varying amounts of load, which will cause the card to whine at a variety of different high pitches and can degrade your overall aural experience while using particularly open back headphones or speakers. So the next question I always get is, okay, so Linus, I understand what coil wine is. Oh, how do I fight it? How do I get rid of it? The unfortunate answer is that once you got it, it's kind of like ants. You want ants? No, you don't. There's not a lot you can do to get rid of coil wine. In some products, damping or even doing things like applying silicone over top of the offending components has shown a reduction in the amount of vibration and therefore coil wine produced. And some power supplies have been known to react better or worse with different other components in the system to cause more or less coil wine in either of those components. But this is a very extreme solution replacing your power supply every time that causes coil wine with a particular component. And the unfortunate thing here is that outside of very extreme cases of coil wine, most manufacturers will not fulfill an RMA for an affected product. And even if they did, it's likely that it would be considered normal for that product. And the one that you get in return is going to be the same anyway. So in the case of computer hardware, your only real defense is to look into the products that you plan to purchase beforehand and make sure that other users are not reporting coil wine issues. Certain individual products are definitely affected worse than others. In the case of graphics cards, it might be a particular manufacturer or a particular board design that might be used across a variety of manufacturers. But you want to watch out for which ones are getting good reports from people and which ones are not. Then don't assume you're safe just because you buy a, you know, a non-reference card from a good manufacturer. As with anything in life, Check those reviews online before dropping a bunch of your hard-earned money on a product that may disappoint you down the line, or buy from somewhere with a solid return policy. So if you do need to swap it up for something else, you will be able to. One more tip though about coil wine is make sure that you've nailed it down to the right component. Often, with very high frequency noises, it's difficult to locate exactly where they're coming from. So you might think that the coil wine is being caused by the PCB of your graphics card, but maybe it's actually the fan above it that's whining or the motherboard chipset below it or or whatever else you gotta really get your ears in there and figure out where it's coming from speaking of figuring out where it's coming from i bet you guys didn't see this sponsor spot coming from me Today's episode sponsor is Cooler Master. They've got a wide range of reliable cases, power supplies, air and liquid coolers like their Neptun 240M, which we actually talked about a fair bit and is great for keeping your CPU cool. And they've also got peripherals for gamers and enthusiasts alike. For example, their Nova Touch TKL that everyone keeps asking, what is that keyboard in your video? What is that keyboard in your video? You guys gotta check out our ultimate keycap replacement guide over on the Linus Tech Tips channel because we cover that particular keyboard why it's so special and how you replace all the keycaps on it and make it look freaking awesome. All the information about how you can use their products most effectively and what each of them is meant to accomplish can be found over at the Cooler Master website or at CMU, Cooler Master University. They got a bunch of really great educational articles over there. And what's good about it is it's not just 
OMG, buy Cooler Master all the time, every day. It's actually seeking to help you make a more educated purchasing decision regardless of what you're shopping for. So thanks to Cooler Master for sponsoring this episode of Fast as Possible. You guys for watching and like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, leave a comment if you have suggestions for future Fast as Possible episodes just like this one or different from this one, whichever you prefer. That's the point of suggestions. It doesn't have to be exactly the same thing. I mean, if everyone suggested I keep making the same video over and over again, I would keep making the same video over and over again and no one wants to see that. Thanks for watching. Bye.